so here I am. Um, <laughs> I'm at City Hall. I decided it's Triple Star Day every Tuesday for a while. They need people to come in. So I was like, I have a little bit left on a gift card and you know, so forth and so on. So I'll just use it for the Triple Stars and that way I can get a free pastry eventually or whatever. Um, I ha had given up Starbucks for a long time unless I had a gift card. So I rarely partake, but it is pumpkin spice season. Anyway, what I wanted to say here was um, pickleball is supposed to show up here as an activity at Dilworth Plaza. You think it's like a dill pickle? Or is it a big deal, dill? Now, my issue is I saw a report last night and it said, like they show, a female reporter showed herself as if she was in the makeshift courts already. And from the newscast, it would look like it was here, like right next to this lawn. I'm trying to figure out, this is Dilworth Park and I believe this is where it's supposed to be, right here. Um, I walked all around City Hall, and this is City Hall. So I walked all around City Hall looking for the pickleball courts, even though it doesn't really start until the 7th. So online it says it starts the 7th, and it'll go through like October or something. Um, I have yet to find anything that looks like a pickleball court. I wondered, because I was like, if it doesn't start till the 7th, they'll probably hurry up and set it up the weekend before. Um, we're, we're on the third, so they have like, you know, four or five days, like four days to... Um, but the newscaster was standing in an actual pickleball court, so that's what made me believe that it already existed. I'll keep looking in case it's over here and I missed it, um, but it was near what I thought would have been the Winter Garden, over there. Um, but this is Dilworth Park. I think this is where it's supposed to be. And pickle and dill, dill pickle. Um, so, uh, anyway, um, I thought, well, I'll come out today to find out if they have them set up in that way, like, kind of have something to say, and I wonder, I already knew, like, something was up, so I'm like, if it doesn't start till 7, where, you know, are the courts already yeah, ready? Cool. And is there another section around here that could be considered, like, Dilworth Plaza? There's the cl closed pin over there, a statue that reminds me of people being hung out to dry. Um, so lunchtime here at City Hall. I don't know if everybody works here or not, um, but they can eat lunch here at the grill. Cornhole Solutions is what, I think this is so funny. Um, but air grill, food and drink. So, um, but this is Dilworth Park. Uh, the closest thing I could find to what the newscaster could have used, but it wasn't that, would be behind these wooden um, flats over here, or fencing. And what she was standing in had these banners and barricades, but it looked like the courts were already set up. So they either did a makeshift thing. It looked big though, that's the thing. I was like, it looks like they had already done it. So I'm kind of curious how her news report was done, but they would have used the barricades that you would see back here. Also, interestingly, I have a couple things to mention. I signed up for newsletters. Um, see how they have those green, like, um, they'll use those, I guess, for the pickleball, but, um, and um, this wooden fencing, there are design elements that you'll see here at like a government sanctioned place and if you see them showing up on housing like maybe you see a house that's worth eight hundred thousand dollars or a million or whatever and it's this totally awesome seeming upgrade and say past young square like percy street this listing came through yesterday for percy street and i was like it looks really good in the pictures until you look on the map i know past young and i wouldn't want to live there that's just a personal preference um, you have to be a certain type of person to want to live in certain neighborhoods. Like, it's almost like you grow up a certain way or you have a certain vibe or as some people might want to move in and change the vibe. I wouldn't spend that much money to move in to try to change Passyank, no way. Like, it's just, they have some cool things like um, that plant jungle or whatever it is um, where you can get a whole bunch of lush plants and stuff. Mm. I forget what it's called something jungle it's a totally awesome store my issue is I don't love the neighborhood for various reasons 
um, people grow up with, it's almost like if you were in the movie The Others and you were not accepted into that. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that. Um, you know, I guess it's pre-date, it goes back in time to like um, an old, old, old Italian type. Um, Excuse me, I'm drinking the um, pumpkin spice latte that I decided to partake of even though I'd much rather be in a different financial situation where I'm earning uh, what I'm worth, which would be more than a million dollars. Uh, and I know it because of what happened. In fact, what happened to me is such a big deal. They might actually have pickleball at Dilworth Plaza because of what started in 2011 and I was the biggest target of it. American Eagle, paper company. So I'm not saying, you know, actually I am. <laughs> I know it was bad. And I wondered, are they bringing pickleball in because of what happened? And Philly has to, just like in the video I had the other day, they had a major sprinkler mishap, tons of water gushing through a building over the dry bar. You get it? You get it? Dry bar and sprinkler mishap. Dilworth and pickleball. Dill. It's a big deal. It's dill pickle. So anyway, oh look at love. Or is it? Is that little pickle love or not? Is it a big deal that some people think pickles are needed for love? Or that pickles are too aggressive? Or that pickles manipulate, scare, intimidate, push around, and so forth and so on? So lunch over here at Love Park. I'm out here around lunchtime. This used to have like, yeah. you know, different, you know, like, it's hard to explain. It used to look more municipal. Skateboarders would come over here, but they flattened it out. They used to have all these like ledges that skateboarders could skate on. People could sit down and have lunch on cement, built-in structure of benches. Uh, but now it's like this. It's really pretty. I actually like the skateboarders because it kind of adds the city flair. Um, but I, for some reason, they decided to level it and put this in. And there's, you really can't skateboard like you used to be able to here. So they wanted a different vibe here at Love Park. This of course is at the tip of the Ben Franklin Parkway. The Ben Franklin Parkway kind of starts up around here, 16th Street, heads straight on up to the art museum that Rocky ran up. And uh, it's very Pennsylvania here. You still got that style from, you know, like Provincetown, P-Town, P-Town, P-Touch, P-This, P-That, P-6. So P-Touch uh, machines are those things like, it's a labeler. So they use them at Starbucks, I believe, and at least in Florida. I was like, P-Touch? We used to have those things that were really rigid and hard and you had to click, click, click through and get that that special type of um, plasticky material and you imprinted letters through it like you had to label something that was yours like your locker or whatever Sharon